Hello and welcome to a new series on my channel. I thought I would try a new game that is a early release on Steam right now. It is called Hero Defense. It's basically a tower defense style game, but instead of building towers, you have heroes which are basically the tower and you'll be moving them around and building them up and getting levels and equipment, and all sorts of cool stuff, and trying to basically defeat Jack's father. I think that's the uh, overall goal of the game. And so you just start with Jack at the beginning and then you'll gain some you'll find some of these other characters throughout the game and it's basically like I said a tower defense game but it has some cool things in that you build up your heroes over the course of the game. So it'll be kind of neat. You have you have a lot of choices and I believe uh, you get 5 lives to try this with. Let's yeah, let's do another game. I just was sort of playing around with it just so that I could get a handle on the controls of the game. Um, and I'm probably still going to mess it up a lot. So the beginning here is a little slow. The wails and... and moans of the survivors fill the air. The bloodshed has begun. Maybe I can still... Vampires can't let I'll... them reach the barricade. I'll try to get it, get through it really quickly. So we have to stop the monsters from reaching the barricade. And if they reach the barricade, I'll lose a life. And that's... I don't think I'll be able to uh, lose a life in the tutorial. And then you need to scroll over money on the screen with the mouse and then I can select Jack by now, clicking on him or, never, or by you know pressing the one key me. and then I use the right mouse button Oops. Father, no to move him to over lose. there and so you can move the heroes around in sort of a tower defense style game it's kind of neat Oop. I'll get it done that was close <laughs> here we go <laughs> A living coffin. coffin. I bet it bleeds gold. Why would a living coffin anyway? I don't know why it would bleed gold, but fire it will. Gotcha. So once I get outside the tutorial, which is kind of sad, you can actually uh, speed the game up a little bit. But as you see, I've got to pick up the gold. On my way. Don't care about gold. But I do care. But I hear something over there. Something over Let's there. do this. More bloodsuckers. And again, Rack see the barricades bolt. over here, so we have to prevent them from getting there. So the game's kind of cute. The graphics are, are not too bad uh, for a fairly cheap game on Steam. Again, it's early access, so you know things will be changing and more things will be added to the game as the game continues. I'm if you need me. And then, okay, so now it's pointing out that I, I'm gaining orbs every time I'm killing mobs. Once I reach 100 orbs, I can basically power up Jack, it's time. charge him up, and so now he's going to get uh, an extra arrow. Is that right? Yeah, you can't really see it here because they're so close, but he's shooting uh, two arrows now. So. You're actually going to get to customize the character later on, and you get to choose what sort of abilities you're going to level up into. So it's sort of neat. Uh, there's a lot of customization. So now that I got 200 for the next one, uh, I can charge up again. <laughs> Better. I can shoot two bolts at once now. Oh, sorry. I only got might the first time, so I only did more damage. Now I'm shooting Ready, two bolts at aim, once. Fire. This is showing me my next one. So this one, this one here means that I'm going to do more damage next time. So. Oh look, more money. Not really alive. Can't really die. <laughs> no matter. More gold. Jack's kind of a dick, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But another kill. These monsters are no match for me. Too many monsters here. I have to get to the town. To the town. And then so after every map the weapon charges drain, so you're going to have to build them up every map. And as things get more complicated, there's going to be strategy and you know, who you want to build up first, you know, depending on what mobs you're fighting, because different characters will have better abilities against different mobs. So it's sort of an interesting game, and I'm not really good at tower defense games, so we'll sort of see how this goes. But... Uh, all right, and this is showing me that shrines. I just want—I got to get out of this tutorial thing here as quickly as possible, so we can uh, it's jump on the jump on the shrine. 
The right so. guy at the right place. A speed shrine. Just Ooh. what I need. Speed I shrine. can shoot twice as fast now. And there you go. You can see he doesn't have the double arrows or the extra damage um, because we're in a new map. But again, you got to stop them from getting to the barricade. And if they get to the barricade, you'll lose a life. And I think you're limited to five lives for the entirety of the campaign. So if you die five times, then you're, you're done. Finally, a challenge. If I use the shrine, it won't stand a chance. Champions are bigger and tougher monsters. End of the line. You're a dick, Jack. Ready, You're aim, a dick. fire. <laughs> no time to lose. There we go. <laughs> None shall. No time to waste. I have a bad feeling about the town. Me too. And basically this screen is it's just showing you you're I'm perfect in the tutorial. If you're not perfect in the tutorial, then you're probably not going to do very well in the game. Drag with the left mouse button to move around. Go to the town. All right, so you, I guess you can look around. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, different areas here. Um, and, you know, there's more that can be developed and that's probably what will end up happening as the game continues on uh, but this looks like what's there to start with and so we got to go to the town attack speed shrine all heroes can use the attack speed shrine so there are shrines that are specific to specific heroes as well so you call yourself a slayer you're too late jack sanders They've destroyed everything. Uh, I take it you're the mayor. The survivors can rebuild the town. See, he's a dick. Only if you help. Start with the academy. I don't want to help. So Jack is a vampire hunter. And uh, so we're rebuilding the academy. This is where we're going to skill up our characters as we get them. So we can go into Jack's you can learn new character skills tree. here. You'll need them to overcome more powerful monsters. And so right now... What if I don't want to click the armor for skill? I'll follow the quest. Thank you for showing me all of this. Use up his remaining points. So I have one point left. He already has a point in Might, which basically just boosts his overall damage. And then he can also choose quickness, so I can be quick to the draw, shoot more rapidly, or I can go down to the sight tree and, you know, basically plus five attack range. So I can either increase the range or increase his attack speed. Uh, let's go with attack speed, I guess. Um, okay. Okay. You can upgrade skills that you've already bought, and angrier. but Need they cost more monster. points, so the first one costs one, second one costs two, third one costs three, and so on and so on. I think there's a maximum. I, I think you can only go up to five or six, but uh, you only get like, I think, two skill points per you level, so do. someone's under attack outside the gate. Hurry. I don't think you're going to be able to buy everything. On my way. So as you can see, the town has been destroyed. And we're here to save them. Visit the academy to train up on a regular basis. So you can actually decide. Like, so this is this is the campaign itself. Like, this is where it's telling you to go. Um, you can click on other places. Like, I could go back to the town. I don't know. Like, I don't really need to, but you can. And once we unlock more zones, you can go back to older zones. So you you don't just go to one place and do it once and that's it. You can go back to uh, older zones. But I don't really need to do anything here. But I just thought I would show you that. 
the beginning is fairly linear because you only have so many zones you can go to so we have to go to the gate and uh, you start on easy okay manually targeting so you can manually target a mob and then of course all of your heroes will attack that mob outside the if they're within range of the town's gates thank you for narrating Jack thank you Bones O'Malley. Your skeletons will not stop me from finding my wife. So, Barrow's. This here is Barrow's slow aura. If Trust I click. Me. If I click on Barrow's. Oh, my back. Does it show his uh, attack range? Bones, I'm coming for you. Um, I think his attack range is out here. I'm not sure why it doesn't show it. It's a little, no a little time bit strange. To wait. Yeah, see, this is his aura of slowness, I believe. And this is his attack range. And so I can uh, charge him. Wait, I'm coming. And uh, we'll kill this guy off. Come wait, back over here. I'm coming. Vampires. I'm doomed. My holy water has little effect on them. Okay. Leave the bloodsuckers to me, old so man. Jack's gonna come in. And this is still really part of the tutorial. And this aura around Barrows, of course, is making Jack a bit stronger as well. So you kind of want to keep people around Barrows. He's sort of the support character, I guess. Let me do just a second. And, uh, click these guys over here. Ready, aim, fire. And there we go. That should be that. You saved me. Barrows is the name. Uh, shall we push onward together? I prefer to fight alone, but your aura makes me stronger. Call me Jack. I'll call you jerk. Okay, the wave bar shows info about unco up, ugh, upcoming waves. So this bar here represents the path that they're going to be on. So in later maps, I believe there's going to be more than one path that you're going to have to defend. And the red coloration here means that Jack is going to be better suited to kill these mobs and Barrows is not going to do as much damage. So no time to wait. here we go. Right, the best. Get it done. So each character is has you know better abilities against certain mobs. So, oh, one of those got away. Come on, somebody die. Eat this. Let's wait. Fire I'm it's wait. No time to I just need one of them to die so I can upgrade Back Jack. Here. Oh, no justice. Get it right, we're done. Make sure we kill this this one. Come on. That was a little too close for comfort. So now barrels is gonna be more effective against the skeletons. So basically skeletons barrels are more effective against and uh, vampires gotcha. jack is more effective against. So end of the line. Ready, and I can, aim, uh, fire. I can speed it up. Enough. No time Father, to wait. No time I'm coming. And I need 200 orbs to be able to advance, basically. Fire will. So Just let's no go time over time here and make sure we kill done. these guys. Eat this. Gotcha. And I can uh, scroll around the map. And See, I believe I time. should be able to... Yeah. I'm here. Kind of zooms, sort of zooms into that character. Oh, let's Try get over here. Let just let I'll and move my get chest. it done. Hmm. I'll zoom back in. That's the best you can do. There is no like real zoom, 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 zoom. zoom, zoom. Oh come on! You gotta By kill this guy. Power of the Lord. It can't move my just wait, I'm this. coming. Wait, I'm coming. Sounds a little dirty, but ready, aim, fire. That's not good. I think 
Eliza, just a second. Back on my way. Can't oh, we'll lose the townsfolk. Life, really? The more skeletons I kill, the closer I get to finding out wow. what they did to my wife. I'm terrible Eliza. at this game. I waited too long to get over there. Got distracted. And the more monsters we kill, the stronger we get. Let's go to the academy well, to eh. upgrade our skills. It's my first time. What am I gonna do? It's terrible. Oh well. I don't know if you can get more lives. So if you continue, it's just gonna continue on with the campaign, I believe. Or you can go to town. So we'll just continue on back to the town. Seems like you held them off for now. Sure. Maybe you really are as good as your father was. Better. And I see you found barrels. Sure did. I am just in the nick of time. I was nearly a dead man walking. My you leveled boy. up. So visit the academy. You need to upgrade your really? skills we'll to like succeed. You leveled up. So you can upgrade. Upgrade increases the amount of XP you get. Next level, XP boost, 20%. Maximum skill level increased to 2. And it costs 60 gold to upgrade. So, um, there's no harm in upgrading, I don't think. So now I could upgrade any of these skills that I want to, like level 2 if I wanted to uh, increase his overall damage. Um, this one would just give me the attack range. Uh, this one, uh, one bolt to kill, two to be sure. Yeah, it's a chance to fire two bolts at the same time. So there's a 20% chance that he would fire two bolts at the same time if I were to pick this one. Which seems like an interesting one. Um, I think I want that one, but uh, what does this do? That's my attack speed. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you know, it, yeah. Please stop doing that. No. Okay, and then let's let's grab double bolts. Um, and we can upgrade another skill, so we could spend uh, one here to. Yeah, let's let's add to the range as well. So we're, we're spreading our points around, which is probably terrible. Let's do that. And for Barrows, he has uh, attack range, spirit eyes, purify is plus five percent speed reduction. So this will uh, reduce the speed per attack or send them back to hell. Yeah, plus ten percent attack damage or strengthen your flock with the fire or the spirit. Uh, eight percent. So it gives everyone else an 8% damage loss. This looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the slow. I'm going to treat him kind of like my support character. I think that's my plan. So we can't afford to upgrade. Let's continue on. Let's see what's next. Slows down monsters. Okay, so this is where it's sending us. This is the next part of the story. So we're going to do this. Well, we'll continue on with the story, uh, but you can go back to places you've already been. So we'll play this, and uh, our reward for completing this one is we'll be able to unlock the forge. Try and boost Barrow's abilities, 50% attack speed, 50% damage, and 50% range. So pretty good. By God! It seems like the entire graveyard has risen up to fight. Steady, old man. We are all that stands between those monsters and the town. Ooh, the barrels to the I'm shrine. done here. Let me do just a second. Let me I am here blessed. we go. So as you can see, his range has uh, increased, his damage has increased, so 
He's basically gonna stand on the trine for the this entire attack. I'll hang back. It's time. I'll get it done. All right, I'm gonna speed up here. You know where to now. On here we go. Come on. Well, that was maybe a bad idea. So everything's coming out on the green path, so we don't have to worry about it. I'm just sending them up ahead to soften them up. I'm going to leave barrows on the shrine. I don't think it matters if I... I don't think I need to move them. See you later. Gile. Ready now he's going to get the damage flares, but he doesn't do as much damage to the skeletons as barrels he does. See you later. Fall here we go. Uh, looks like vampires are up. Coffin again. This time it's mine. Vampires are coming up next, so I'm gonna Let's do move this. him over there. Eliza can't move much I'm gonna faster. start both of them. Just a second. It's time. Let's do I this. I feel like a young there man. You. Money, 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 Vampires. Oh, I have to use them? Okay, so basically you just uh, drag them over here and go kaboom. And that'll slow down the mobs. Send barrels over there. Let me handle here. We go. No, let's go there. Let's do this. Sacred power. It's time. No time to lose. Trust me. Charge of barrels. There we go. Green path. To find I'll get it done. I'll just leave barrels there for now. And so I could use the frost bombs, but I'm going to try and save them. I think I can do this without too much worry. I think he's going to have no problems here. Slowing these guys down. So, eh. Oh, come on, Jack. Hang back. Just here we go. No, stop doing I that. Thank you. Feel like a young man. Uh oh. Ooh. That was close. Let I'll get it no done. time to wait. All right, I'm gonna send them both out here. See if they can uh, take them out. I'm done. Here. Can't move. Just Father, a second. Wait, on my way. I'm coming. Let me wait. I'm coming. I'm blessed. Oh, me. It's I'll get it done. There we go. I'll hang now. Let's do it this. Is, uh, Oi, Vicar. Good to see you in the flesh. I'll enjoy skinning you, oh yes. Oh yes. Bones O'Malley. What did you do to my wife? Trust no time to wait. I'm guessing he gave her his problem. That's a bad joke. Can't move much. Alright, faster. yeah, so if the boss makes it here, you lose. Basically it'll kill you. Kill all your lives. I need him. Just can't move much faster. Just I no feel time to the lose. power. <clears throat> so I could specifically target the boss, but only Jack right now could target the boss. So Back he'll be killing. But now, once he gets through here, this zone, so we just can target the boss. The boss will be dead, and now they will kill. See you later. Let here we go. 
evil is punished, but revenge hasn't brought back my wife. Mourn her later, Barrows. Back, back to the to town, the for now. We'd go Jack. Jack's a giant dick. Okay, so runes. I think uh, we'll be able to use runes now. We're gonna level up. That's good. Perfect. So we'll continue on. We'll send us back Excellent. to town. Now we can reopen the forge. So we need to build a forge. Visit the forge to upgrade your. You'll find runes on your campaign. Use them for your weapons. Click Jack. Here is your rune inventory. These are the runes that are currently in your weapons. Drag a rune from the second slot. Drag the rune into the first slot. Great! When you charge up Jack's weapon on the next map, he'll shoot two projectiles at once. Okay. Feel free to experiment with different combinations of runes. For unlocking the forge, I've got a rune for you. Thank you. You'll Yay. need more runes to defeat the Count. Buy them or find them during your campaign. Okay, so you can look at the description. I have a 50% chance for one projectile. This is a 100% chance. So every time you level up Jack, he'll get an additional projectile. And uh, his next time, he'll get... So I'll have him get extra projectiles. So he'll be my projectile man. Projectile man. Uh, but I can get runes. These cost gems. Get epic and rare. So there's a, you know, a bunch of different uh, things that you can do. Uh, I don't have 500. Uh, we'll buy 100 one because I don't have a lot of cash right now. One uncommon, two commons. All right, let's do it. Eh. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, let's do some more, just just for fun. Why not? Okay, so we don't have we don't have enough cash for anything. So we got another uh, multi shot here. Uh, this one is increases your attack range. This, of course, increases your damage. This rune here reduces the charge cost of each subsequent level. Oh, I shouldn't have spent all my money. Uh, that's okay. This rune is charged. Creeps have a chance to drop gold every time they're hit. Um, so basically, you place the runes in, in your weapon or in your character, and then you can also go in here and you can upgrade your weapon. It costs uh, five of these gems, so I can upgrade uh, him to an advanced bow, which gives him another slot. Um, so let's do that. We'll upgrade him so he's a strong bow, and to upgrade him again, it's going to cost ten gems. But what I can do there is I could uh, put in more projectiles again, or I could put in might, uh, or I could put in the gold if I wanted to like get more gold. Uh, so every time he upgrades, you know, we could get more gold overall. Uh, I think we're gonna let's let's make him our projectile man. Let's see how this goes. I, I have no idea. And same thing with barrows here. You know, he's got the uh, attack range, so every time he upgrades, he gets attack range, which eh, it's okay. This is better attack range, so this is 10% uh, instead of 5. But uh, I think for Barrows, mm, I think damage is going to be more important to us early on. This 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 will be helpful, I think, but I think we're gonna go for the damage. And I don't have gems, so I can't I can't upgrade his weapon. But that's okay. And if you upgrade the forge, which is also gonna cost me uh, gems, you'll get uh, bonuses. I believe, uh, yeah, two percent damage bonus. So just like uh, upgrading the academy gave us a twenty percent XP bonus. If I want to, want to upgrade it again, it costs four hundred. I don't have the cash right now. So, but I can upgrade Jack again. He's got two, uh, so I could uh, let's see, let's see what this will do. 
20% chance for level, so we could increase that. Um, we could increase his armor piercing, we could increase his overall damage. Yeah, let, let's increase this, why not? Let's. And I'm going to increase his aura, so this is going to increase uh, the damage bonus that he's granting his allies. So. Oh! This is coming! The count is here. Father didn't keep me waiting. Your father was once a great and noble man. Until he betrayed everything my family stood for. I swore to kill him, and I will. If you don't, he'll daddy create issue. more and more monsters until this place is hell on earth. We're needed at the town gate. Okay, well... I think I'll end it, I'll wrap it up here. If you are enjoying this game, let me know in the comments section below and I will continue on. I will continue posting it on my channel. And you can enjoy the game with me. It's available on Steam. It's an early access. Uh, it's a hero defense. It's made by Happy Tuesday Productions. And I think it's Hero Defense Haunted Island, I believe it is, is the, the full title. But uh, yeah, if, like I said, if you're enjoying this, please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button as it helps me out a ton. And hopefully you are enjoying this. And I'm planning on playing a lot of different types of games in the future. So let me know if you're interested in that or if you're not interested in that. Let me know that too. But until next time, Delgar out.